First of all, I want to delete some of the elements that we don't need in here. I'm going to hold down the space bar to get the hand tool and just drag downward so I can see all of the artwork that we've pasted in here. I want to keep everything that's in the sky layer. So for now, I'm going to lock the sky layer and I'm going to lock the hill layer. What I don't need is this small portion of text in here because this is going to be used for web banner. That text is going to be way too small. So I'm going to click on that and delete that. Um, I will keep the logo at the bottom and the text for the web address, but I will click and drag across and select those bottom three icons in there. Now, if you find you're picking up things you don't wish to, you can, of course, pick up the zoom tool and zoom into that region. Pick up your selection tool, click away and drag across just those two elements and then hit the backspace key or the delete key on the keyboard. So we've got now, if I go to view, fit artboard in window, got everything that we need. And again, I'm going to hold down the space bar just so we can see everything in there. I'm going to go back and uh, unlock both those layers. Um, I will now lock the titles layer just for the moment. I'm going to left click on the sky and just going to click and drag and pull the top handle down closer to the top of the artboard, just off the edge in there and let go. And then I'm going to hover my cursor over the green of the hill, hold down the shift key and shift and left click to add that to the selection. And again, I'm going to hold down the space bar so that I can see the far right edge of the artboard. Let go of the space bar, hover over the middle right hand handle and drag and pull that across. Now, yes, this will be stretching and distorting, but for the sky, it makes no difference for the hill. Well, there isn't anything that is a hard or fast thing that needs to stay at the proportion that it is. Yes, we've got some little tufts of grass that appear, but if they're stretched, no one's going to question that in this specific case. So we can fill the rest of the artboard by just distorting and stretching the artwork. With that done, I'll hold down the space bar and then I am going to uh, grab my clouds and just move them along here, just in a better place. Um, you can even then obviously move the trees along here if you wish to just space them out a touch. Uh, maybe rotate that one a little bit now and then click away. And then with that done, I'm going to go and lock the hill layer and the sky layer, but unlock the titles layer. And again, I'm going to pick up my zoom tool, hover over the image window, hold down the alt key to get the zoom out mode and alt and left click. If I go back to the selection tool, there is a neat trick that we can do here, which is that in our titles parent layer, if we go to what looks like a blank portion on the far right hand side, you can left click once. Now that will select everything that isn't locked in that parent layer, which in our case here is our three text frames in the logo. I'm going to drag that across over here so that um, the logo and the, the web address sits nice in that dark green area so it's nice and legible and then I'll click away. I'll then drag across those two elements and drag downwards. Now to stop it moving from left and right you can hold down the shift key and that will lock it into a vertical axis. You can't then move it left or right. And then when I position that where I need it, let go of the mouse, let go of the shift key and click away. I'll then go up to file and I'll choose save. And in here, then I will need to jump back over to uh, the main project folder, then into working. And then we're going to save this as notice the file name in here, banner01.ai. Down at the bottom, you should always, if you can, save your artwork as an Adobe Illustrator file that'll give you the maximum flexibility. And then from here, click on save. Uh, in the dialog box that pops up on screen here, the current version you're working in here, um, uh, mine is uh, Illustrator 2020s, it still tell me, even though that we are in version 2021. You could, if you wish to, uh, back save, as it's called, to an older format. Maybe if you need to supply your artwork to somebody who's working in an older version of Illustrator. But first and foremost, I would always suggest that you save it in the current version you're working in and come back and do a save as possibly uh, and do that a second time to save the artwork for uh, for somebody else. So in this case here, I'm going to leave it set to the current version. Um, it was going to create a PDF compatible file that's required for importing into other applications like InDesign and uh, Photoshop. It's going to embed the colors, our color profiles that we looked at in the first chapter, and it will apply compression to the artwork. 
but it won't be at the detriment of the quality of the artwork. And so from here, I can click OK, and that finally saves the file. 